The genetics of myopia. Myopia or blizarukost in Russian. In Russian, if we translate the name directly, it means the ability to see only within the reach of one's hand. Myopia is the most common medical condition of the eyes. According to the American Optometric Association, more than 40% of Americans are myopic, a number that is rapidly rising, especially among school-aged children. Nearsightedness happens when your eyeball grows too long from front to back and when there are problems with the shape of your cornea. Orlands. Uh, here I leave the, cite, the citation. Uh, myopia in apes. Myopia has been observed in several species of apes, including chimpanzees, orangutans, and gibbons. In some cases, myopia in apes may be related to captivity and the lack of access to natural environments and stimuli. Studies have suggested that apes may develop myopia in response to prolonged periods of work, such as reading, playing with electronic devices, or focusing on objects in captivity. Similar to humans, myopia in apes is characterized by elongation of the eyeball, resulting in difficulty seeing distant objects. Some researchers have suggested that myopia in apes may provide insight into the evolutionary origins of the condition in humans. Now let's get into the topic of the video. The genetic variants that contribute to myopia. The source is uh, from this guy Piro Hisi. Uh, I included a picture of him here. Uh, 2020 study. Uh, this is a study that is very large. Uh, it was over half a million people. It was 550 something thousand people. And they discovered 336 new genetic regions associated with refractive errors, including nearsightedness. So this is the SP that is the most decisive out of the ones they discovered. Uh, the most important SP. It is located in the LAMA2 gene. Uh, just so you understand how important it is, it has a p-value of uh, 1 times 10 to the power of negative 999. And just to explain what a, what a p-value is, it's the likelihood that a certain factor does not correlate with a certain outcome. So if you have a very low p-value, that means the likelihood that this, this uh, S&P, for example, does not correlate with a certain outcome is very, very little. So this is a p-value that is, I mean, 10 to the power of negative 999. That's crazy. That's a crazy p-value. That's a crazy low p-value, which means it's a very significant, um, it has a very significant correlation. So the G allele here prevents myopia, and you can see the ethnic distribution that I included here. Asians, uh, Oceanians, they don't really have the G allele. African Americans have it a little bit, uh, 1%. South Asians have it a little bit. Estonians and Europeans in general have the most uh, percentage for the G allele, which prevents myopia. Uh, here I did a little bit of work on my own. Uh, using the Hardy-Weinberg formula, I estimated the genotype frequencies for multiple ethnicities. So Asians and Oceanians, the genotype frequencies would be 100% AA. For African Americans, it's a little bit more spread out, but none of them really have GG. And for like Estonians, you can see here, uh, it's almost 1% that have GG. Yeah. Uh, and it's interesting, you would think that with myopia, you would think with myopia, uh, the rare variants would be the ones that cause it. But no, it seems that the rare variants are the ones that protect you against it. Protect you from it. At least uh, the most important one, at least uh, this variation. Uh, I included another variation which is also very quite um, quite important. Uh, it's located on the 15th chromosome. Lama 2, this is located on the 3rd chromosome, but this one is located on the 15th chromosome. Uh, the A allele increases the likelihood of myopia, and it's kind of most common in Native Americans and Africans and South Asians, and it's least common among Ashkenazi Jews, but it's um, it's just... There isn't really an ethnic correlation that you can draw here, that you could say like Asians are the most myopic or white people are the least myopic. There's not something you can, it's not a correlation you can make. Uh, from examining some of the allele, allele frequencies of the most important SNPs in the study, 
Uh, I have not noticed any ethnic trends, although statistically, East Asians are the most likely to suffer from myopia. Here I'm showing some of the SMPs in the study and their contributions. Um, this is actually your genotype with estimated accuracy, the second column here. This is actually my like my genotype. Um, you know, just, it's just so much work writing down all of these 336 SMPs. I did not want to do this. I just took a screenshot, right? So I took a shortcut. Um, so you, you look at the first one, A. This, this is the one that uh, raises the likelihood of myopia, for example, if you have two A alleles here. And the G would be lowering the likelihood of myopia. And I think I think with all of these uh, with all of these SNPs, the, the leftmost column, uh, the subscript A or subscript C or subscript T, that would be the allele that is most likely to contribute to an increase in the likelihood of myopia and other refractive errors. Uh, you can search through these SNPs on your own in your file, but I gotta tell you, I don't think any of these will be in your file. You need to. Um, you need to extend your DNA file, you need to impute it in order to see these SNPs. So, good luck finding any of these in your file. But if you, ha if you have a whole genome sequencing, go ahead. This will be useful for you. Uh, so this is part two. And I did not want to include like seven different screenshots for the whole list because after this, uh, they are not really significant. They are not really significant or important. So. The problem with comparing one study's results to another, uh, I don't think it makes sense to compare p-values of one study to the p-values of some other study when comparing the effect of some SNP. The study I am citing in this video has insanely low p-values because it sampled over half a million people, not because there is super strong correlation between any of these SNPs and the likelihood of myopia.